What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Black James Bond, and we are here today. Look, uh, we already reacted to one song by J-Hope featuring J. Cole. Um, shit, I forgot the name of it. Uh, I forget the name of the damn song. I, I react to it. It'll be posted throughout the video. But um, I want to get more into the, to the K-pop world. Because why not? Um, you all gave a great reaction. You all came out, watched the video. You all commented. You all let me know what you thought about it. Thought about my perspective as well. And it's only right to keep giving you all that. Um, yeah. So somebody commented to react to Arson, which is a song by J-Hope. So we're going to react to Arson. Uh, Sin, actually two people did. So it counted as a vote. And if you want me to react to any other songs, doesn't have to specifically just be this artist. Um, look. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. If they drop something newer, let me know. But let's hear J-Hope Arson. Did you subscribe? Double check. And if you didn't, subscribe. All right, let's get it. Oh, big hit music. Okay, so it's literally Arson. The destination was done. So that was the end, so they're going back in time. Let's burn, burn. I don't understand necessarily the symbolism of what the person under the bridge with a fake house with the road sign means. I don't know. It could just be like random placement of objects because they talk about burning everything down. It could be what it means or it could be some something, di something different that I have no idea about. But let me know. This is definitely a low, deep, low register song. And it, like, it sounds like when you get that motherfucker coming like this when he's delivering. Bang, bang. Yeah, that's what that sound like. But it is a low register song. This, this song is intended to be not dark, but kind of low. So the delivery wise, yes, yes. Because if I'm talking about burning everything down, I'm not about to be in a high pitched, squeaky voice. I'm going to make that shit as low as it can be. As low as it can be. I shower in petrol. That was crazy. That was actually kind of hard. That's okay, so one thing I did notice so far, and I do love, I know I'm gonna keep stopping it. Um, one thing I do love how he did this word choice, right? When you talk about artists having, a, a, um, like, I love artists who have a good amount of words in their arsenal. You have a good amount of words that can describe the same thing. You have all of these synonyms to describe the same one thought. And what he did a great job of here so far, even from the beginning, the words that he chose also can relate in that, uh, and that low, like, that aggressive, like, that aggressive tacking, the beat sound that he's making. Like, if you listen to the words he chose, he could have easily chose different words, but they wouldn't have had the same inflection and he wouldn't be able to deliver them the same if he didn't have such a vast array of knowledge and words to be able to use and not have to use the same shit or words that did, wouldn't necessarily help with what you're trying to achieve here. You're trying to make bang, bang, and listen to the words he uses, at least for the translation, but the words he literally uses, it's kind of like how D Smoke, the artist who was on Rhythm and Flow, he's rapping in Spanish, but he's rapping in a, in a, in a still in a rhythm and still speaking Spanish, giving you a whole fucking message. And then he go right back into English, but he's keeping that same flow because his knowledge of words is so like grand. It's crazy. So good job. Uh, good job, J-Hope. Let's keep going. When I'm sweat, oh, get a show. Do I chill out? Do I? He's saying, "Look, after it's all said and done, and when it's my turn now, 
I'm putting a burn to everything. I'm putting everything on fire. And guess what? I noticed everything was on fire. And he said, now I got a choice. Do I put that fire out? Or do I make that shit crazier? Guess what? Nigga, you better turn up. All right? You better turn up. All right, boy? You better turn up, J-Ho. Come on. Only I can put that fire out. Only he he also when he's talking about arson too. I love that. I literally just had a realization about this parallel. He also is talking about that fire that's burning within him to want to still be able to do this. Because in the beginning, he talked about he didn't expect that popularity and that fame and that, that recognition to go so crazy. He just did it because he loved it. And then everything started going up in flames. Of course, when people first get on the scene, they gain popularity, they gain recognition. They're going to get a lot of shit. People who, from the past, all of a sudden, want to bring up all these receipts. Fuck you, all right? Look, the reality is he knew this was going to come with it, and he decided, what do I do with this? Do I take it? And, and, and like allow this shit to go on or do I become a villain do I become a villain become a villain become a villain become a villain simple as that because guess what people hate to love and love to hate give them something to hate boy give them something to hate all right you don't want to love me I'm gonna give you a reason to hate me I'm gonna make it good too That could also become the dollar sign too. The way he's just like vertically, that could easily become a dollar sign too. But he's in the middle of this whole fire. He's in the middle of this arson. I love how that symbolism was made there. He's literally in the middle of that whole thing. That was not by accident he was in the middle of the S. It's five letters in arson. S, S is the middle letter. He's right in the middle of the middle letter. You are in the middle of this whole fire. You are the source of it. But at the end, guess what? He took the fact that, he, that people was trying to tear him down and he made his heart go from an icebox to fire. All right, guess what? I'm gonna embrace this fire and I'm gonna see what it do for me now. Cause guess what? If I become that very thing, what's it gonna do? What's it gonna do with you? Nothing, come on. Good song, good song, good message. Good song, good message, good symbolism. Great way of him delivering delivering the words, delivering the message, the word choice, the enunciation, the pronunciation, everything was well-crafted. Great job, like great job. Um, is it more of this? I don't know whether to watch this for 30 seconds. Yeah, no, it's not more. But um, great job because it was very on brand. Some people that music video won't fucking match shit about what the fuck they singing about. This was very on brand and he took it to that level. Everything that he was talking about matched that energy of what the message was he was trying to bring in the video. So great job to them for whoever helped design this whole thing and make it happen. Um, great job, J-Hope, as well. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what other songs you want to hear from me. Uh, it's your boy, Black James Bond. I will catch you all in the next video. We are out.